good morning children again welcome back to video classes of mathematics so in last class you have learned problems based on the speed time and distance in this class today you are going to discuss about the again problems based on speed time and distance why again means yesterday's class that is the first category means the first model today's topic the second model of the distance problems what is the difference between these two if you observe the previous problem in that there will be a clear word the speed of the train had been more he was mentioned the more instead of more he can use the word raised increased also that is the first category today's category today's model the speed of the train had been decreased or less or reduced these three words also will give the same meaning only in this kind what you have to do to get the answer so this problem we are going to discuss today are you ready to listen yeah children here you will see the one problem a train travels a distance of 480 km at a uniform speed if the speed had been 8 km per hour less then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance find the speed of the train okay so if you observe the this problem and yesterday's problem there will be small change what is that 8 km per hour less this is the very important point in this problem yeah that a train travels a distance of 480 km at a uniform speed so the distance is the same and the speed had been 8 km per hour less then we would have it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same journey the same distance so it gives it represents that time variation time variation this is the distance this is the speed okay do you understand now yesterday problem the first method model number 1 if you see yesterday he has used the word instead of less increased increased and he can use more first model this is the first model first model increased more and raised these three words will give the same meaning of the first model if you see the second model if you see the second model second model so here he will use the word less or decreased decreased or reduced reduced these three also will give the same meaning the first model instead of less he will use the increased more raised we have discussed yesterday today less decreased reduced so it give the second model now we are going to discuss about the second model of the problems based on the speed distance and time here one more important point how to discuss that is uh, time variation time variation yeah what is that here 3 hours is given okay it's not a problem yesterday problem 5 hours given 5 hours that is also not a problem but in few problems instead of hours he will tell that minutes 48 minutes otherwise half an hour half an hour half an hour otherwise 20 minutes like that the problem will be in minutes then what you have to do you should convert into the hours how 48 by 60 here half an hour you what you have to write of 1 by 2 48 by hours 1 by 2 hours here 20 20 by 60 hours like that you have to convert then you should solve the problem okay let us start the problem how to solve children let us see the calculation yeah according to the given problem distance distance traveled by by train is equal to 480 
kilometers. Okay, and uh, how much? You don't know the speed, actual speed. Let the speed of the train. How much? X kilometer per hour. Okay, you don't know. This is unknown value. You have to find this only. Let the decreased speed of decreased speed of train. Here, according to problem, how much kilometer? Eight kilometers per hour less. Then what you have to do? X minus eight. Kilometer per hour. This is the most important step. Instead, instead of this step, the let the speed decrease, increase the speed of the train x plus five kilometer per hour. We have written there. Now, let the decrease the speed of the train x minus eight kilometer per hour. Why the speed given less less? Okay, x minus eight kilometer per hour. Now, uh, like yesterday, we have to solve the two cases. The case one and case two. Yeah, what is that? Case one. The time taken t one time taken by the train with actual speed t one is equal to how much? Four hundred eighty by x. Here case two t two is equal time taken by the train with the decreased speed t two is equal to four hundred eighty by x minus eight. These two are the two conditions. Now the important point in these two times, which is the which in which case train will take the more time? The case one or case two? The most important point here: speed of the train decreased means uh, speed of the train decreased. That gives information it will take more time. Do you understand or not? In this case two, the speed of the train is decreased. Speed decreased means journey time will be increased. It means more time. No, it will take more time in this case. So automatically here less time. Now, now did you understand or not? Case one. So for speed formula, the time formula, distance by speed. So distance four eighty by x. Case two. Time taken by the train with the decreased speed. Distance by Speed four hundred eighty by x minus eight. Here in these two timings, which is the more here? Why? Because it is going with little bit lower speed. It is moving with actual speed. In these two timings, this is the more time. We take more time here, less time. Okay now. Okay. Right. Yeah. According to problem. According to problem, time variation. Time variation given three hours. How much time variation given three hours? Time variation more time minus less time. Here more time what less time what? Four hundred the first one case two four hundred eighty total distance by x minus a minus four hundred eighty by x is equal to time variation how much? Three hours. This is a required quadratic equation of this problem. Now we have to simplify this problem in our uh, own style. Four hundred eighty by x minus eight minus four hundred eighty by x is equal to three hours. Like yesterday, now our problem will become very really easy. Four hundred eighty take common mean one by x minus eight one by x is equal to three hours. Now four hundred eighty. As usual calculation, x minus eight into x. Now x minus x plus eight is equal to three. Now positive two x, negative two x cancel. Four eighty into eight. Four eighty into eight. How much? Here zero. Four eighty into eighty by x square minus eight x is equal to three. Okay. Okay, from this step you can solve that. Here cross multiplication, three x square minus eight x is equal to three thousand eight hundred forty. Now cancel and throw the equation with three table. 
एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सॉरी ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स सो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाउ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एटी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज रिक्वायर्ड क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ओके नाउ हियर ऑन वर्ड्स यू कैन सॉल्व द रूट्स ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला ए वैल्यू इज वन डी वैल्यू इज माइनस एट सी वैल्यू इज माइनस ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एटी so b square minus 4ac if you find you will get the 5120 we can simplify by substituting the a b c values in the discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to you will get 5120 now x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a is the formula now minus b value minus or minus b plus a plus or minus root of 5120 by 2a 200 into a value 1 okay 5120 of 64 plus then 5000 5000 plus 5120 is 5100 84 so 5184 is the value now 8 plus or minus root of 5800 184 square root 72 by 2 now we can solve the problem 8 plus 72 by 2 or 8 minus 72 by 2 now 80 by 2 or 72 minus 80 60 minus 64 by 2 So you can cancel. You will get the forty here minus thirty-two. Now which is the correct answer? Forty. Why? Because the speed of the train always will be in positive. So you can ignore the minus thirty-two. Now speed of the train is forty kilometer per hour. Okay. Thank you very much.